Hi guys, Daz here with comic book haul number 34 on a wet and miserable day in Gloucester, England. Surprisingly, I've managed to find quite a few books this week. Had some real joy at a charity shop. And I didn't think I'd have many pennies for books, but like I say, there weren't too many sellers at the con, so I managed to save some money back and I've spent it, because that's how it works. But uh, I'm happy with what I got. Happy to show it off. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. Whereas always, I've got a lot of spec books coming up. So let's hit those books and hit them hard. What I've got this week. First of all, I had an AOK, -OK, as you've probably seen earlier from my good friend Comic Vantage, Lewis. And this is a brilliant, one of the best first issues I have read in a long time. This is Letter Forty Four from Oni Press, and this is signed, as you can see, guys by Charles Soule, who did the script. Basically, it's the uh, a president's spin on first contact with aliens. Fantastic. I may well track down the rest of these issues. And as you can see, he has included a certificate of authenticity. I posted this on my Instagram page. Yes, guys, I am on Instagram now. Known as Does the Key Chaser, funnily enough. So please, look me up. I'd like to see your books. Come and have a look at mine. Uh, like I say, I sent some books out to Comic Vantage, and talking of that, I found another one for him, and um, should be sending this off shortly. I managed to find two copies because they've arrived from Forbidden Planet. Two copies of Deadpool issue five, and this is the one where Marvel got in a little bit of spot of bother, I believe, because they didn't get permission to use the garbage pale kids design. This is the regular Nick Klein cover. And that is a £15 book all day long at the moment. And I'm probably going to set up between 10 and 15 I would have thought. I was even happier to finally get this one. Ordered it ages ago. It finally arrived. And this is what I think is the best Matina cover that I have seen so far. And this is Deathstroke 36. Just a fantastic rogues gallery. That is beautiful. Like I say, I, I went out to some LCSs too. In fact, I was looking for the Suicide Squad 47. Had no joy with that. I was looking for the Venom Ton variant, the one in 10. Had no joy with that. I was looking for the Freezing Wonder Woman. Had no joy with that. But I did find some books. I found Infinity Wars issue 4. I'm not really sure why I keep bothering with this. I am sick and tired of mashup characters. And this has so many... Now, there is a variant cover to this, I think, that um, Key Comic Market Watch uh, shouted out that has got maybe a bit of a, an error. It's got uh, the wrong price on the back of the book. So I'll have to look out for that one. It's like a virgin cover. Um, this is the first appearance of the Cosmic Avengers, who are Loki, Emma Frost, Kang the Conqueror, Miss Marvel, Ant-Man, Hulk and Adam Warlock. It has the first appearance of Miss Kang, who is Kamala Kang. Oh, give up. It has the first appearance of Moon Squirrel, Tippy Soar, Terrific 2, Mr. Invisible, Hot Rocks. It's the first full appearance of Dragon of the Moon. It's the death of Loki Odinson. And this is a regular Mike Diodato Jr. cover. Whether we carry on seeing these mashup characters, I don't know. I hope not. Uh... Talking of mashups, we picked up another one here. This book's pretty hot at the moment. This is What If Peter Parker Became the Punisher. Oh, Bruce is down. Always one of them falls. Get back in the camera, you. Um, and this is the first appearance of a Spider-Man Punisher character. And this is the regular Christopher Stevens cover. I do like the premise of What If books, so I must admit. Now, like I say, it was probably the week of covers... And this one is an absolute stunner to me. One of the best covers of the week, without a shadow of doubt. And it's a new artist to me as well. This is Domino, issue seven. And this is Gang Hyuk Lim. That is a beautiful cover, guys. Absolutely stunning. Thought that might get a bit more of a buzz. 
Uh, went to my second LCS, talking of covers. And this was a Solio cover purchase because it's another, this is probably one of the better Superman covers that I have seen. And this is a stunning Superman 4 Adam Hughes cover. Look at that, love it. Flying high in the sky. And for some back issues at the second LCS. This is Silencer. This is on the Key Comic Market, uh, Key Comic Collectors app. And this is uh, issue seven. And this is the first appearance and apparent deaths of Cradle and Grave, who are two villains to the Silencer. Uh, I hope you're watching Arrow at the moment because Silencer is going to be making an appearance in season seven. So that's good because Silencer and Sideways for me have probably been the two picks of these uh, new heroes for DC. I, I, I like what DC are at least trying to in, introduce a lot of new characters, not like Marvel with these mashups. So uh, credit to DC. Picked up another one. This is an. Uh, I picked up a cameo recently of this, uh, a new villain, and this is his first full appearance in Detective Comics 984. This is the first appearance of the villain Karma, first full appearance, and Karma is Fleet Delmar. And this is an Eddie Barrows and Eber Ferreira cover. Keep an eye out for that. Pay, paid two pound for these uh, back issues. Five I paid for this one, but this this one is slowly getting hot. Down to Donny Cates again. This is Venom from the previous series, and this is issue 165. I picked up the uh, variant, and this is the, the reason I picked this up. This is the first cameo appearance of Sleeper, the infant symbiote spawn of Venom. As we know, Sleeper is in Venom first host, I believe, at the moment. So that's a cool book to get, guys. Fiverr for that. Pretty happy with the price. Now, like I say, one of the one of my best purchases of the week. I have really high hopes for this uh, series. I uh, I think it was last week I picked up the regular cover, and I can see this being an option. The, there's massive buzz about it on the forums. This time I picked up the one in ten, and I got it for two pounds. This is Dead Rabbit issue one. Absolute steal. This is twenty quid online all day long, and it will rise. This is a good book to have. People on the forums are stocking up when they can on this one. And they're now paying. I saw one guy the other day had like five or six for like 24. That's a bargain. So if you can see that dead rabbit variant, pick it up, guys. That's a long hold, I think. Okay, we're to the car boot. Uh, Tony wasn't there, but I did find one book. And uh, it's just a bit of nostalgia for me. I am a huge Sylvester Stallone fan. And uh, I recently picked up Rocky's first appearance. It was in a G.I. Joe comic. Well, now I've got a, I've got a Rambo. Look at this legend. Rambo 3 in 3D. Does it get any better? You know, obviously I've had a look inside. And you do need 3D glasses because it's all blurry. And I haven't got any. <laughs> 50p for this legend. Wow. Now there this is uh this is a number one, but it's actually classed as uh Blackthorn Publishing's issue 49. And there were two number 49s, the other one being Sad Sack. Sad Sack. What a glorious run. There's actually a, a a Star Wars one in this series, 3D, that goes for about 40, 35, 40 quid. I just got to find some of those old glasses. I tried the cinema glasses on it. Not, didn't work. Okay, so I need those red and blue ones. The old school. Um, went to a charity shop whilst it was in Cheltenham. You know me, I'm never satisfied. And they, I've been going in. Once long ago, I, I picked up a few X-Men books, I think. Actually, one of the first Marvel books I picked up. I picked up a first... Bishop in there for a quid. Well, for weeks and weeks I've been going in there and they've had nothing. Well, this week I did very well. They had about 30 or 40 books there. Pretty modern. 
and they were selling at two pound two pound a piece. So, you know me, I rifled through them and I picked out the keys. So for two pound, guys, first up, I picked up Amazing Spider Man, six forty nine. And this is the first appearance of Ben Ulrich as Hobgoblin. So that's a pretty good one. It's also the death of the previous Hobgoblin, who was Daniel Kingsley. Like I said, I picked up 11 books in total for £23. The last of them was three quid. Um, this is Amazing Spider-Man 650. Happy to add this one to the collection. And this is the first appearance of Spider-Man's stealth suit. May well see that in a movie at some point. Had this book already, but this will make a nice prize in one of my competitions. And this is amazing. Sp key issue, it's about a 25 quid book in good condition. And this one's pretty good. This is Amazing Spider-Man 654. I think that's the first appearance of Agent Venom. The Spider-Man story. I think I'm right. Anyway, uh, this is... Happy to like you to add this one to the collection. I was going to buy it off my friend Lee, uh, but I found it a bit cheaper here. And this is 654.1. And this is the first solo story of Flash Thompson as Agent Venom. It's also the first appearance of Countess Demonica. Lieutenant McKenzie and Yusuf Kasim. That's high, pretty high grade too. Happy with that. And then we're on to some DC that I found in the same shop. Nice books. We've got Superman, issue one from the New 52. Again, a £10 book. This is the first appearance of Jonathan Carroll. It's really uh, the first appearance of Morgan Edge in the DC 52. Happy to add that number one. Talking of Superman, the one book that was there for £3, and it's a nice grade too. Some Bronze Age goodness. Superman, it's a 25 centre, Superman 297. Just had to pick it up because it was in such nice condition. I'm coming a bit round, it says, Lois Lane spends the night at Superman's apartment. <laughs> There's a key issue. Okay, back to the uh, more modern books. And this is, uh, this was a good find. Justice League, issue one, New 52. Now, I'm not a big New uh, 52 fan, but these books are going for some coin. And this is the first appearance of Superman in the New 52. Jim Lee cover there. I've ever met him, I might get this one signed. My second copy of Action Comics number one. Two quid, guys. These are 20, 25 pound books. My second copy and an upgrade. Now, my previous copy to this, I got signed by uh, Paul Cornell, a uh, uh, Cheltenham con, uh, True Believers. This is Action Comics 8.94 for two pound. Delighted. First full and cover appearance of Death of the Endless in regular DC continuity, continuing from Vertigo's Sandman. Now we've got uh, that issue. Can't remember for the life of me which number it is, but I have Death, uh, Sandman's uh, Death's first appearance in Sandman, uh, in Vertigo's. Yeah, Sandman. So I've got that book. So that's a nice one to go along with it. High grade too. Like I say, two quid, can't knock it. Really delighted with these next two. Detective Comics, issue one from the New 52 for two pound. This is the first appearance of Dollmaker, who is Barton Mathis. And uh, Barton Mathis appeared in the Arrow TV show. Also, a different version appeared in uh, Gotham. Also appeared, appeared in uh, numerous animated uh, features. Also the first appearance of Olivia Carr. And this is a Tony Daniel cover. I like that cover. 
One of the better Joker ones for me. And then probably the pick of the books from the shop that I went to. Uh, never seen this book before. This is a £25 book, guys. Flashpoint. Issue 1. Delighted. Because apparently that Flashpoint film is still in development and it is still coming with Ezra Miller. Yeah, I'm not his biggest fan, but the Flashpoint could be a could be a good one. Obviously, uh, first appearance of things like Batman, played by Thomas Wayne, you know, alternate sort of uh, setting. So that was a great find for two quick. Uh, like I say, I showed that I, I bought this book this week, so I have to show it off. It's on my Instagram at the moment. It's uh, I picked this up. It's the X Men movie adaptation, X Men Two, and the reason I got this book is because, like I say, I got it signed by the actor Brian Cox, who played. William Stryker in the X-Men movies. Like I say, I'm just going to wrap up with uh, three uh, minorish keys. This is uh, from eBay. This is uh, the Mall. I picked up the Mall one last week, I think, for 50p, which I was happy with. I had to get this one because this predates it. And I did have it, but mine was right, I think. So this is the Mall issue zero. Like I said, I don't know. I only paid a couple of quid for it, but uh, it predates it. Now the ash can is the one I think that's really going for dollar. But uh, this goes nicely with my number one. The mall, as you know, has been optioned. And this is from Scout Comics. And the mall for me was a really good read. Not at all what I was expecting. I enjoyed it immensely. Comic hot comic book alerts. I hope you've been following them, guys. I enjoy making them. This is uh, one I've showcased actually. Because Daredevil uh, Season 3 is about 10 days away, something like that. And Ultimate, well, I said, uh, there, Bullseye's going to be in, isn't he? In, uh, we were speccing, obviously it's not Lester from uh, Daredevil Issue 131. And it is not uh, a, another one that was appeared in Punisher Max Issue 5 that everyone was specking on. No, this one is a... Uh, going to be Benjamin Point Dexter. And Benjamin Point Dexter first appeared in this comic, Ultimate Spider-Man, issue 53. So if you're after the first appearance of the new Bullseye in the new series of Daredevil, this is your book. Okay, guys. That's my second Ultimate Spider-Man book. I have issue 98 as well. And finally, it's not the best grade but it is a book that has eluded me for so long and I paid just £3.52 for it. There's a little bit of a, a dirty mark stain at the bottom. But I think this book is still going to blow up because when the Green Lanterns movie comes, this character is sure to be in it. And this is Green Lantern Corpse issue 201, the first appearance of the big fella, Killer Wog. Yeah, delighted to add that. Like I say, for three pound fifty, it's got a stain down here, and I didn't really notice it when I bought it. But besides that, it's in good nick. So added to the collection, and another one ticked off the encyclopedia. So that is my books for the week, guys. Some pretty good ones there for cheap. You know I roll. Now, let's show you some books that are coming out this week that I am excited. For. Well, for me, it's not a great week. There's only two or three books. Of course, my man Middleton starts us off and running. And this is Aquaman 41 out on Wednesday. There it is, guys. Enjoying that look. Very retro. Something a little different from his norm. Now, Ackerman, he, he's actually getting a rest from the series of Ackerman, and he's being replaced by another artist that I really like. So I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, this is the other one that I'm really excited for this week. This is Venom. Everything Venom's hot at the moment. This is Annual One, and this is the Sinkovich variant cover. And this is a nice one, guys, because it's... I do like his work. It's very different. There we go, Venom Annual One. Look out for this. Up next. This is a 
this is the uh, Alex Gardner, I believe, cover because this is Teen Titans 23. I've picked up the last couple. I do like his art style. Now, I think this one could be under order because of the foil. That's what I'm gathering from the forums. Here we go. Nice Rob in there. Really like an animated style he has. Uh, and then there's two that I'm thinking of. Actually, just one, I think. Is it two? Yeah, two I'm thinking of. This one, like I say, uh, I picked up um, the Reese Galactic Icon variant recently of Boba Fett, and that book has gone crazy because Boba Fett's a hit. Now, people are saying that this one could do fairly well. Probably not as well, but this is uh, the new one. Oh, 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 Solo. Yes, Jabba. And that is Star Wars. Oh, sorry, Darth Vader, issue 22, the variant. Okay. And the last book that maybe, I mean, there's a couple of indie titles like Ogre and that I was looking at, but, and I'm not a big fan of these foils either. They, they damage real easy, really easy. Uh, but this one's coming out. This is, uh, I think this is the foil, is it? Yeah, this is the Harlequin. A bit of buzz about this one, Harlequin. Issue 52. Now I just want to finish with showing you some really nice bits of art that are coming out in the future. This one uh, is continuing that Yasmin Putri run on Red Hood. This is uh, issue 28 and this comes out on the 14th of November. It's another nice one. That was another book I couldn't find actually this week with the uh, Red Hood Putri. So I missed out on four good books this week. Sad times. This is, well, like I said, uh, Middleton's getting a little rest, I think, on um, on Aquaman. Uh, basically, so we can catch up. Cause he's got a, there's a big backlog, apparently. Um, shout out to Comic Book Speculation Facts for a lot of these pictures. But I do like this. This is a Ben Oliver, and he's one of my top three artists. And... I, I had the honour of meeting him and he signed my Howard Jordan Flashpoint book uh, a couple of years ago. Really hoping he'll be there in Cheltenham again this year. This is his uh, Aquaman 42 and this is out on the 21st of November. Really good likeness there for uh, Momoa. I've met Jason Momoa. And of course Mira. That is a nice, that's a nice cover. Um, moving on, we have... This book releases on the 21st again of November, another Aquaman cover. Now, people are saying they like this one more. I don't. I prefer the Ben Oliver one. But this is uh, the Lucio Perillo cover B variant for Justice League 12. It is a nice one. Don't get me wrong. And then we have another stunner from Matina. He's on Batman, and it's Batman 58, and this drops on the 7th of November. Nice Penguin cover. Really nice. Yeah, I think Martina's probably entering. Well, he could be, well, he's vying for one of the top spots. Uh, this one I'm not so keen on. This is uh, Gabriel Delotto. Detective Comics 992. Uh, this is out on the 14th of November. Okay, look out for that. And finally, like I say, I picked up the 1 in 10 Dead Rabbit for issue 1. Delighted to get that for 2 quid. This is uh, the David Sullivan again variant for Dead Rabbit 2. 1 in 10. And this is again on the 7th of November. This is going to be optioned, I believe. Nice cover there, look. I do like his outfit. So that's it, guys. That's Daz done with his latest haul. Like I say, stay tuned. I'm always going to be dropping uh, hot comic book alerts. I've still got some showcases to do. And Daz's news run is back on Monday, so I'm going to stay active. Thanks. If you do like what you see, please subscribe, like, and all that jazz. It really does mean a lot. 
Take care, guys. Speak soon.